This program is brought to you in part by Sal Cal Real Estate Connections. Welcome to Race in Action Today. We're here today to bring you the action from the Berlin Fairgrounds down at the World of Wheels Clay Oval. The event will be the Nutmeg Car Club in their final points event of the year. It should be very interesting. There's going to be plenty of young guns looking to carve their name in the winner's circle on this famed clay oval here at the fairgrounds. I think it's time to strap in and hold on tight. We're about to see what go-kart racing is all about and the people who make it happen. Yes, we have John Ladding with us, who's the president of the Nutmeg Car Club. And I'll tell you, John, I am so impressed at this facility and what you've done here uh, with the Berlin Lions. And I know Gary Benkowski and all these great people that really put on this uh, event and got this track going. And I understand you really got a storied history about this club. Now tell me, how did this all start? It actually started 37 years ago in uh, Shelton. And uh, we've actually transitioned up here two years ago, and it's been the best thing ever for the club. Uh, the opportunity that was given to us by the Berlin Lions, it's a uh, totally, it's a first-class facility, and uh, just the opportunity is more than we could ever been, uh, you know, thankful for. We're just very thankful and indebted to the, the Berlin Lions for this uh, opportunity they've given us. Now tell me, what age groups uh, compete in this uh, event? Well, we start off with the youngest group is five to seven year olds, and we go up through there. There's 12 different classes where older, our uh, oldest racers are actually in their mid 60s. So uh, everywhere in between, uh, once you turn 15, you kind of transition to the adult classes. But you'll see a lot of good, uh, good, hard, close racing in all the classes. Well, there's hope for me yet, then. Now, Larry, we'll get you out there today. Any <laughs> in the classes, keep watching. You'll see Larry in the car today. All right, I want to thank you for your interview, and we're certainly anxious uh, to watch everybody in action. And uh, good luck today. Yeah, thanks very much, Larry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah. you, John. You're right. Just the first line of sight. Try to call number 209. Just the speaker. Into the outside. The driver that's been red hot for 2016. Try to call number 99. Out of order. Into the first line of sight. Second row from the left side. Try to call number 35. Move in. Into the outside of the movement speed driver. The number 44. That is... Good gamble. And heading up at the rear of the field by the car number 53, Sir John Taylor. That's the fourth starting lineup for our first qualifying of the day. And you notice, look at that number 53 car. And the Hawks Taylor, I'm going to Medicine. And the Street Warden, Jason Wood, Farm Ultimate Westwood, and now Winston Entry. Two years of racing with the Nutmeg Car Club. This day the driver is looking at you, and turning to the middle of the crowd, and the inside of the middle of the crowd. Okay, what's that for turn number four? Slice it in dice before that middle one comes. This is the driver is going to be very hot. Come on! Open the middle of the crowd, and it's going to be very hot.
right tackle, number one, good time by. Final time off of turn number two, the yellow number four. The premier team, turn number five, up off of turn number four. Let's look at this time for the team. Our team, the 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 team, Right now, it's our super surfing three cars coming out on the track. Where are the followed by the rear? And then followed by the rear line. And then our 35 cuts. Amanda West for the outside, driving car number 24, it's Jonathan Alessandro, and also getting the start car, number 38, that will be the That is our starting lineup for our junior sports and camp cars. Number three, and that is the reason for the quad. Don't forget, that's the third round. That's the second annual 
Plainville Stadium for Wakey Reunion. We hope that you'll make plans to be with us. It'll be a great time for Kelly and the Arena. Now remember, we have bad weather next Saturday, October 9th. So Wednesday, we'll play with Katie Wakey Reunion. Don't forget by Sunday, October the 10th. It'll be a great time for Kelly and the Arena. Now we're going to be talking about our school report. Outside of Laddie, scheduled to go from that position will be the number one car. That is the entry driven by Kelly McCrory. That is the red number 26 car, the red the south, followed by the number 11 car of the Lincoln Lane Dell. And then we the car. Number zero is the top deck. To the outside of top deck, the driver, that is the house team, now keep your eye on the number 99 car. Now all of these competitors do an outstanding job, but that driver is working for the security of the game. And right now we got a good battle for that number one spot. take a little break in the action as they uh, room up the track and boy I'll tell you it's sure been one exciting day here at uh, this uh, clay oval at the Berlin Fairgrounds and 
really uh, very impressed how this club uh, this Nutmeg Car Club really runs their events. They are really something special. We come to the conclusion of our show today and I hope everybody has enjoyed it as much as we did producing it. It's always a fantastic uh, event to come to here at this Berlin Fairgrounds and to watch these go-karts today is truly amazing. I'll tell you, I can't wait to try one of these carts out myself. I want to thank our crew, Dwayne Cody, Billy Majak, David Seidlinger, 
for all the excellent work they do. And I want to thank everybody for watching Racing Action Today. This program is brought to you in part by Sal Cal Real Estate Connections. Special thanks to the Racing Action Today crew Dwayne Cody, Billy Majak, David Seidlinger, Lisa Backus, and Louis Gonzalez. Also, we want to thank our home station, Nutmeg TV, for all their support. Special thanks to Pryor Brothers Fabricating in Berlin, Connecticut for all their support. And also we want to thank Just Results Weight Loss Center in Bristol, Connecticut.